Their combined revenue is billions of dollars. Despite that financial reality, several major sports organizations haven't paid one penny of federal taxes in decades. In fact, many are considered nonprofits with a tax status known as 501c6. I don't know if I could say it's fair. Um, when I think about a nonprofit, you know, you think about the Gaddies of the world here in Baltimore. You know, you think about um, our daily bread, our Catholic charities, or things like that. The tax breaks go not to individual teams or players, but to the league offices. The list includes the National Football League, the PGA Tour, and LPGA, and the National Hockey League. The league offices, which are separate from the teams they represent, have combined revenue of roughly $2 billion. Darius Irani is an economist. He says this nonprofit practice started in the 1960s to promote business and encourage the growth of the NFL, though he believes it's gotten out of control. The NFL is promoting benefits for a very select few set of individuals and entities. Is that, should that be a tax exempt status? Probably not. Some theorize the tax breaks encourage the sports organizations to donate millions to charity. Oklahoma Senator Tom Coburn doesn't buy it. In fact, he says it's time for these billion dollar businesses to pay their fair share of taxes. He's introduced a bill called the Pro Sports Act. Pro stands for properly reducing over exemptions. Peter Schweitzer leads a watchdog group called the Government Accountability Institute. This is not a nonprofit organization. Uh, this is an organization that makes huge sums of money from merchandising, uh, from franchising, from other streams of revenues. Ending the nonprofit status of the NFL and other sports organizations won't come without a fight. The NFL itself spends more than a million dollars a year to lobby Congress on its behalf. For a business that's as lucrative as, say, uh, football, baseball, uh, those, those businesses make enough money, we, we probably should ask ourselves whether they can stand on their own. Kai Jackson reporting.